Hey everyone, this is Jose with Chipmunk Baking. Today I'm gonna to cover net carbs versus total carbs and why they may be relevant for anyone following a low carb keto diet or just monitoring their blood sugar. So for today's example, I will be using our chocolate peanut butter keto bites. They have nine total carbohydrates. So a total carbohydrate is uh, to count is just every single carb in the item, whether it be sugar, uh, regular carbs, or fiber. And that's all added together. That gives you that total carb number. Uh, to get to your net carbs, uh, you actually end up subtracting out the fiber, which is indigestible. So you're not going to absorb it. It's not going to affect your blood sugar. In most cases, it might even slow down the rate at which your body absorbs sugar into the bloodstream. That's why that's really important for people uh, monitoring their blood sugar. And then uh, the same is true of sugar alcohols and allulose in our case. The body doesn't absorb it, and so it doesn't uh, induce a insulin spike, so it doesn't affect your blood sugar. For that note, uh, I subtract out any fiber and sugar alcohol from my total carbs to just keep my carb count kind of in mind. Uh, so in our case, we have nine total carbs minus one gram of fiber, minus seven grams of allulose, so we have one net carb per serving. So for me, uh, I now know that this will probably only impact my blood sugar by one total carb. Uh, it's some people are a little bit more sensitive to carbohydrates. It will vary. Um, it just really depends on what your goals are and what you're trying to do. But to count carbs, look at the back, count all the sugars, count all the fiber, add it all up. For net carbs, subtract out any fiber and any sugar alcohol or allulose, and you'll get to your number. Thanks for watching. This is Jose with Chipmunk. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And uh, let me know if you prefer counting total carbs or net carbs.